Hey everyone, what is up and welcome to the channel. I hope it is going amazing with all of you today and right now in this video we are going to check out some new news regarding Warzone Mobile as well as also Season 3 and Season 4 of COD Mobile as well. So let's go. Now first things first guys, I do want to ask if you do want to see daily mobile gaming videos and news, make sure to smack that sub button and join the family. And also smack that like button as well if you do go on to enjoy the video. But now, with that out the way, here we go. So let's start off with the brand new Warzone mobile news. So Tom Henderson, a very reliable news source, tweeted out the following. The game started with the code name Project Magellan. I was going to do a report on it as I've seen some footage, but since it's already out there now, the game looks pretty impressive for a mobile title, but of course don't be expecting insane graphics and whatnot. So as we can see, Tom Henderson has seen some gameplay footage of Warzone Mobile already, and according to him, it looks impressive for a mobile game, and that is really exciting. He also goes on to say, don't be expecting console as well as also PC graphics on your mobile device, but he did say it does look pretty impressive, which is obviously really exciting. Warzone Mobile is going to have some really good graphics uh, for a mobile device, which is really cool to see. And also based on some other reports as well, a ton of different news sources have been saying, they're saying Verdansk is going to be the map coming to Warzone Mobile. Now obviously we cannot yet confirm this, we are going to have to wait and see, but I do want to note that in this video as well. And on top of that as well, it's also been reported that Rebirth Island could also be coming to the mobile version as well, which is essentially a remastered version of Alcatraz. So that will be really cool if that does actually end up happening. But obviously on these two aspects over here regarding the maps, we cannot yet confirm that as no official news is out regarding what map is coming to mobile, so we are going to have to wait and see. Now also to note, Warzone Mobile will not be featuring crossplay with PC and console, as Warzone Mobile is a new game being built up for mobile devices. Now also to note, when is Warzone Mobile coming out? At this time we do have no official release date. But we can say the game has probably been in development for about two years or so as we have been covering news regarding this game for about a year and a half closer to two years. And also based on the actual new job listings which have come out, none of these are in relation with actual gameplay regarding the game. And also according to Tom Henderson a while ago he did say the game is set for a 2022 launch so perhaps we can see some sort of launch for Warzone Mobile later on this year. Maybe for example an alpha test or a beta test or something along the lines of that. But perhaps we can see some sort of launch for Warzone Mobile later on this year. But obviously we are going to have to wait and see as no official announcement has been made yet. So that is all the new news regarding Warzone Mobile. Again I do want to say a lot of this news is not confirmed so we are going to have to wait and see what does happen. As soon as we get some more official news on this game I will be sure to cover it and let all of you guys know about that. But now let's move on to some COD Mobile news. So first things first the MAC-10 has been confirmed to be coming to the game in Season 3 as the brand new functional weapon for Season 3 from Black Ops Cold War. Now I've got to say I'm super excited for this gun, a brand new SMG which is obviously cool, a lot of people do like playing with SMGs, but also we're finally getting some Black Ops Cold War content and not just another Modern Warfare 2019 gun which is pretty cool to see. Let's move on to the new map also coming to the game, Miami Strike which has also been teased. Now what is Miami Strike? A Miami Strike is essentially a smaller version of the Miami map. So what is Miami Strike? Miami is a massive downtown street that contains a huge hotel with a balcony that overlooks the main street and a curved building. That will lead to the back alley and a parking garage. It also contains a massive breach area and a far off restaurant in the back of the map. Now Miami Strike cuts it down strictly to the left lane, the Miami Street adds cars and tents for cover and obstruction. 
The back alley, the middle lane, goes between the curved building and the parking garage, and the right lane, which cuts it into the middle lane. So over here you guys can see the mini map of the actual Miami map versus the Miami Strike map. As you guys can see, the Miami Strike map is just a smaller version of Miami. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, let's move on to some actual leaks. So, a legendary EMP nade was found in the game files and it's expected to be coming in the mythic draw for season 3. So, okay, pretty cool. Pretty excited to see how that is going to look. Now, let's see some leak legendary guns coming in season 3 and season 4 as well. So, we're going to have the legendary Cali Sticks, which is going to be known as Cobra. The MX-9, Cheering, The Amax, Punk Pig. The Cordite Demo, the Koshka Sniper, Wanda Gavir, the Ritek AMR, Naito Ru, the HVK 30, Cartridge Crusher, the RUS 79U Equalizer, and the MAC 10 Atomic Star. Now, also to note, this was found in the game file, so things are still subject to change before the actual release. But these are legendary weapons which should be getting legendary skins in Season 3 and Season 4 as well. So, okay. Cool stuff. So overall guys, there you go. That is a bunch of new news regarding Warzone Mobile. Again, I do want to say a lot of that news was unconfirmed. We are going to have to wait for some official news to know exactly what is coming for Warzone Mobile. And also, a lot of new news regarding Season 3 and Season 4 as well. We know the new gun coming in Season 3, a new map as well, and also some legendary skins which will be coming in Season 3 and Season 4 as well. Obviously, we don't even know how those skins are going to be looking, but we at least know what weapons are going to be receiving legendary blueprints. Okay, awesome stuff. Anyway guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope all of you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and smack that sub button as well for daily mobile gaming news including COD Mobile and Warzone Mobile as well. So for now guys, that's all for me. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and for now, squally out, and cheers. Catch you next one, and bye.